Hi everyone, my name is Gretchen. My channel is Vintage Cat and Paws, in case you're new here. And I just unwrapped the most beautiful vintage Christmas haul I've ever seen. There's all the paper to prove it. But first off, I wanted to give a big thank you to Carol at My Blessed Nest and at Aaron the Collection Vintage. There will be a playlist link below as well as their channels. And uh, getting into this real quick, if you watched my previous video, I actually did a shop with me where I got all these great finds. So I will put that in below as well. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the deal with this place, it was an estate warehouse. And when I went in there, it was my first time, I asked the gentleman, um, some things had prices, some things did not. And he said, just, I'll make a deal, you know, like, um, bring me up what you want and I'll let you know how much it is. I had a hundred dollars on me. I spent all my hundred dollars easy peasy <laughs> real quick and I can't wait to go back. These little Noel figurines, I do not know what I paid for them. There was no price on these. So there's the N and the O. And I have the E and of course the L uh, the cold paint is wonderful on here and it just has well it has made in Japan sticker and then it says M1676 would be my guess on the numbers yes M1676 so those were a great find I'm going to put them back so I don't knock them over. And they can take a small candle, small taper. But, you know, I mean, not necessary at all. I saw these winking Santa mugs. And there's one. Well, yeah, he is winking. And then he actually has the eye movement on him. Commodore Japan, they were marked a pair of winking Santa mugs as is for $7. And this one down here does have some cracks inside it, which I will not be putting any liquid in these. Actually, I got these mugs to use as a crafting project. I like to make the assemblage and add, you know, like a bottle brush tree, ornaments, garland, that kind of thing. And I think there's another, yes, there is another winking Santa. So I got three of those. I did get two small ones, the double-faced Santa mug. And then this other little Santa mug. He has a little paint drip down in him, but he'll be fine. And then I guess you could say this is a Santa mug. It is by MG Japan. He's more like a egg cup size. And he has a tag of $3. I saw these lovely Christmas mugs. They were priced at... I think they were four fifty. Well, they're priced at four fifty. I don't know for each. Probably for the pair. But again, keep in mind I paid a hundred dollars for everything I'm showing you, and I really only got the prices on a couple of things. So these salt and pepper shakers are really different. They have a pine cone with a rubber stopper kind of hanging off the side of the tree <laughs> and I just thought they were different so I did grab them another set of salt and pepper shakers again no marking on the bottom yeah those did not have a mark I, I did not see one and again a pine cone with some holly fun just fun 
this little Santa guy, I guess we will call him with his umbrella or cane, not sure which, walking stick. And I think he's supposed to be an ornament. I thought at first it was a salt and pepper shaker or either or. It is marked Japan on the inside, but he has a big old hole. So I'm thinking, well, that's probably where the ornament string was strung. So I picked him up. These little um, plastic girls <laughs> with their mitts and their Avon yes they are marked Avon on the bottom candle holders I don't know there's some writing on the inside caution replace taper okay they are candle holders Now this set of elf shoes are they are priced twenty dollars on the bottom, but I do know I got these for half off because I was near the end of my where am I at and I'll start putting stuff back and he said I'll just go ahead and give them to you for ten. I was able to get a smaller sleigh and I do have a larger one in the same design. Again, those will make so such beautiful uh, assemblage pieces. Like I'm excited. I can't wait to, to dig in and get crafting. I did get this popcorn snowman. He's a jolly old fellow. He's smaller. There was some larger pieces there. Some taper candles. And this is in the video. I do pick it up. But they were $2. And these have... Uh, script written on them and then the red ones are of a snowman some vintage wrapping paper originally a dollar at uh, Woolworths and here it was marked five one opened so that will be fun to use in journals and I always keep my eyes open for like junk journal supplies you never know what you're gonna find and what you can use pretty much everything this huge Santa head now this is from Carlton cards and uh, it must have been like a freebie with purchase or maybe I don't know and uh, I did grab that he's pretty nice and clean he's very fairly new uh, he does have a sticker on the bottom this sweet little girl now she does have a fur lined earmuffs on or fur lined band and there's the bottom oh that's fur too I'm just now noticing that she's carrying a gift and she has some twinkling eyes No, I'm sorry, Santa Claus. He is marked Lego, logo. A Mrs. Santa. And I don't think they are a matching set at all. She's marked Japan on the bottom. This glass snowman, I just liked him. Uh, I think his hat is plastic, but he is glass oh and i think he's avon yes i remember because i remember thinking oh gosh please don't tell me this is and it does open it is a uh, perfume hmm i hope that's empty yes it is empty Whew. it does smell faintly still of some perfume and then this really adorable planter she's cute they got their light pole beside them. I'm not sure. I'll just show that real close. See, I don't have my reading glasses on. So, I did get that. Here's the bigger sleigh with some ornaments inside. 
a little knee hugger. I wish I would have found the matching snowman pepper salt shaker to that. It's plastic. The mouse going up the ladder. What caught my eye on this piece is that the reindeer are, well, one of them. Well, I guess they're both pink. Color fade, maybe? And then this little snowman guy. Ornament. Plastic. Flocked. This was in the bottom of the box, so I will call it a freebie. And I have one more piece to show. Save the best for last, right? In the video, I'm showing this Fenton Fairy Lamp. And I do know he gave it to me for 10 because it's marked 20. And he goes, I'll give it to you for 10. The best part about this... it glows oh yes it's got a lovely glow to it and i don't even know if that's even the best part this is fine because if you look there's actually the fenton sticker on the bottom and i had to look on ebay to see what they were going for so i should uh be able to definitely do well and the ones i saw did not have their their fenton sticker on the bottom I need to clean up some of the scuffs and it's in this holly berry pattern so wonderful wonderful find so that was my vintage Christmas haul all from one place had a wonderful time doing this again thank you to Carol at my blessed nest and Aaron at the collection vintage again they'll be linked below please go check out everybody in this club we're having a really good time doing this take care and uh, I wish you an early Merry Christmas.